Hey guys, it's Lee, and remember these little baking molds they had at Dollar Tree? Well, I decided that I was going to try to make, probably only gonna use one of them, a candy bar in them. So I went and bought some candy melts. I got bright white, pink, which happens to be strawberry flavored, and this blue, It's they're calling it turquoise, which is vanilla flavored. Um, this is also vanilla flavored, the white. I really wanted to get like a green and a purple and really mix them up, but they didn't have them and I didn't want to go to a million different stores. So we're going to work with what we have here and I'm going to attempt to make at least one candy bar using this cute little baking mold from the Dollar Tree. I've never done this before. I have made candies in the ice cube trays, which I will link down below. That worked out great, but I thought it would be cute to have like a big bunny face chocolate bar or candy bar. So the first thing I need to do is move these to the side and melt some candy wafers. I'm gonna put these in the microwave, microwave and melt them according to the package directions. So it says one minute at half power, stir, and then keep going. So once they're all melted, I'll be back. All right, so I have them all melted and ready to go. And I put one of the molds on a tray just to make it easier to put in the fridge. So what I wanna try to do is make like one that's white chocolate with pink and blue swirls. So I'm gonna start off by pouring some of the white chocolate melts into this cup. See if it'll pour. might need to be heated up a little. No, I think it might be fine. Then I'm gonna pour, whoops, man, I fell out with some of the pink, and just kind of try to swirl it around. Maybe a little more of this on top. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. And then some of the blue. And I'm just gonna swirl a little bit with my knife. Pour it into the mold. Let me grab, grab a spoon to help me get this out. I made a big old mess as per usual for my channel. Then I'm gonna tap it, maybe it'd be easier just to tap it like this. Tap it down and let that harden and see what it looks like. I have more chocolate here so I'm gonna make at least one more. This time I'm going to just do layers. Start with the pink. Now, if you wanted to make sure your layers were separate, you could wait for that to harden and then put in the rest. But I don't mind if it swirls together a little, so. Might actually look better. All swirled up. This one's gonna be super thick. And then this one's still pourable. I changed my mind. I'm going to swirl it. Tap. 
wrap it. And then I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator. And when they're completely hardened, I'll be back to see if they worked out. All right, so I had a tiny bit of pink left, so I just smeared it on the bottom. Then I'm just taking the white that I have left and pouring it over that. So if you are wanting like a perfectly pink face and then white, you're going to have to let that pink chocolate harden. I'm not going to do that because I don't care that much. I just wanted to use up what I had left. So that's what we're going with. And there you go. I'll be back when they've hardened. All right, guys, so I'm gonna attempt to unmold these. It's actually much later in the day than I had anticipated doing this. Um, it's actually in the evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to unmold these. This one got a little squished. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna start with the one in the pink mold. This is the first one I did. And I'm hoping it unmolds pretty easily, it seems to be. So if you remember with this one, I just put all of the candy melts in one um, measuring cup. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's so cute. Can you see the little face on it? Oh, that's really adorable. So there's the first one. There are a few pieces that you, know, you need to just like take off to make it sit flat. <laughs> Now here's the second one that I did. It's, this one is really thick. And I put it in, well I started putting it in layers and then I decided to um, swirl it in the end. That's what this one looked like. Still really cute. I think that is adorable. That is super thick though, so I would suggest not using quite so much chocolate. And now, here's the third one. This was just my leftover candy melts. I put pink down first and then the white. I probably should have smoothed that out a little better, but <gasps> look how cute. It's a little messed up right there, but it's okay. Those turned out so sweet, and I just do that to get the little pieces off. There you go. These were so easy to make. You just buy the melted melting wafers, follow the directions, and then put them in the molds. It's super easy, and it's something you can do last minute because Easter is going to be here very soon. I packaged them up in some clear treat bags and tied some ribbon to them, and they're in this cute basket, and I think they are adorable. I am not an expert on working with chocolate, as you can clearly tell by this video, but I just wanted to show you that anybody can do this. It's easy, and it's fun, and people will be impressed because they'll think you worked a lot harder than you did, and they came out so cool. And they, with these little ribbons on them, or big ribbons on them, they just look so nice. If you didn't want to work with chocolate, you could mold Rice Krispie treats in them. You could bake brownies and then just drizzle some chocolate over the top. I think that would be really amazing as well. I'd planned to actually do the Rice Krispie treats as well, but time got away from me and Easter is gonna be here before we know it and I just don't have time. But I definitely wanted to make time to try melting the chocolate and putting that in and I think well, I've said it already, I think it turned out just great. So if you try this, or if you try making brownies in them, or Rice Krispie treats, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have Instagram, you can, or Facebook, you can post a picture and tag me in at Lee's Home 05 so I can see them, I'd love to see them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram,
Pinterest and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.